All right, Stefan Harman, Iron Direct Primary Care here, here with my colleague, Justin Chamberlain, nurse practitioner. Uh, Justin, you're calling us from Costa Rica. Yes, down here right now, we're up in uh, Playa Avianas. It's a beautiful place. It's in the Guanacaste region. And uh, we're kind of, although the weather's beautiful behind me with this pool, um, we've been kind of going through a little bit of a hurricane or some uh, stormy weather. So it's, it's nice to have a sunny moment, but absolutely amazing being down here in Costa Rica. Muy pura vida. Excellent. Justin, I'm glad to do this conversation with you here. You are uh, taking clients with Iron Direct Primary Care now. So we're going to yes. be putting out uh, some more information about you. But this is going to be a fun interactive session today. You're going to teach me about breathing, Wim Hof breathing, and uh, explain a bit about what this is and the benefits. Excellent. Uh, so the most important thing is so frequently... Um, if we do not concentrate on breathing and, and many uh, other countries, many other cultures are very focused on breath work, uh, which we find in the North American uh, high stress, high intensity is that we hyperventilate generally only using the upper part of our lungs. Um, I was kind of motivated to learn more about breathing years ago, about 15 years ago when uh, I was at my primary care and he said, take a deep breath. And he goes, you have the smallest lungs I've ever heard. And I said, oh, that's terrible. I'm six foot two. How'd that happen? Um, and I wasn't using my diaphragm, so I wasn't getting full expression. And because of that, probably was trapping a lot of carbon dioxide, uh, which we all know is not the best thing for us. Um, true ventilation is the movement of that. So it, it got me along this road, led me to some Wim Hof, which gets even more benefits and uh, pushes you a little further. And uh, it's just been, been a, a great start. I'm really excited to share it. Cool. Well, let's get to that. How do we do that? Do we do we take off shirts? Like, how do you see the diaphragm move? How do you know it's moving? Sure. So most importantly is uh, number one, we can I can actually show it to you in a second here. But the most important is, is we have a circular breath pattern. So when we're breathing in, we should start really with the upper abdomen. It's not a blowing out of the stomach, but it's a movement of that of that diaphragm down. So I'll, I'll show it to you here in a second, but I just want to explain it first. Um, and then we fill into the lungs. With exhalation, we want the lungs to go out first and then the diaphragm to squeeze in. So it kind of goes stomach, and I'll here, I'll, I'll show it a little bit here. Um, coming back here. So we're gonna breathe with into the stomach to lungs. Okay. And then lungs to stomach. And what we get is as that stomach goes open, it allows for the diaphragm to drop. Okay. So I'm here, my should I be should I be pushing my my belly out when I do this? Not the lower abdomen. Actually, concentrate on the upper abdomen, really. So just right below the rib cage is where you really want to focus. That's where your diaphragm wants ultimate expansion. So just kind of gently relax. Let go of the shoulders. Don't get in the shoulders. Let those go. Let it get loose. Just let that low and slowly. It's easier to practice. Let that upper abdomen just. Let it go loose as you feel it maximized, then into the lungs. And then lungs out. And then squeeze the abdomen. Are you breathing through my nose or my mouth? Breathing through your nose is better. It's better for the nitric oxide. Uh, you get a lot more filtering. You get a lot more controlled breath work through your nose. You can exhale through your mouth. That's fine because you can control it easier. But slow, deep breaths in through your nose. Just... So right now we're doing one to one breath. Okay. Inhalation, exhalation. So that's just giving us that expansion. Believe it or not, that's how we should be breathing. Uh, a normal thing to be doing maybe while you're at work, if you kind of want to control your breath and feel better is doing maybe a four second count in a four second count out, not having any holding at the top or bottom. And that can make a really big difference. Um, so those are some things that we can work on. Give me one minute. I'm going to close this door as someone's going to start uh, mowing the lawn out here. I'll be right back. Excellent. Apologize about that. To get that breath work going, that's something we should be concentrated on all day. So that really slow, just relaxed. The, the most important thing is learning how to be able to do it without the shoulders engaging. The shoulders engaging is basically going to tighten your muscles. So just keeping your shoulders back loose. And you're probably starting to feel it now as you practice with it, that real loose, real simple, 
lower abdomen expands, gets into the lungs. So now you're actually increasing the airflow, carbon dioxide exchange with oxygen. You're really maximizing your lungs. So you're using every bit of it, okay? Now, the next step that we get into is understanding the inhalation versus exhalation. Inhalation, sympathetic, speeding us up, increasing our heart rates. Exhalation would be slowing us down. So why is that important? Let's say you've had a very stressful meeting. Uh, you're with the kids. You just dropped them off at school, soccer practice, whatever your daily events are. Um, you want to have a quick breath in and then a slow exhalation. It would go something like this. So, uh, I like to do maybe a two second breath in, multiply it by three, a six second exhalation. We will really slow our heart rate down. We'll get more into the sympathetic side, uh, parasympathetic, apologize. Parasympathetic is good for decreased heart rate, decreased blood pressure, decreased cortisol in the evening before bed. I would encourage everyone to shut their TV off, get away from their phones and maybe put a good five, 10 minutes into this. Uh, it helps with our mindfulness. If we want to do some mindfulness, do this first, breath work, and then step into it. Um, makes a big, big difference in our flow. So as we do that, now, let's say in the morning, and this is gonna link us into Wim Hof, you wanna get your heart rate up. You want a longer inhalation and a quick exhalation. That's sympathetic. So here we go, slow in. <sighs> quick out. Or we might have seen on some of our yoga videos, a double inhalation, like a. So we can begin to change things up. You'll begin to feel your body temperature rise. Okay, increased immunity. We're gonna to begin to see our heart rate go up and we're gonna increase our cortisol level, which is really good in the morning. Okay, most important thing, get up in the morning, get outside, have 10 minutes of indirect sunlight, blue sky, do your Wim Hof breathing and stuff. Okay, so what does Wim Hof do? Wim Hof is about cycles. Now that we understand inhalation, exhalation, sympathetic versus parasympathetic, Wim Hof puts all that together. Many of us have heard of box breathing, four seconds in, pause, four seconds out. Well, let's go into Wim Hof, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through, through your first Wim Hof. Yeah. Um, I'll let you do it standing up for the video, but ideally you're laying down. We're going to do 20 cycles, which is real basic. Okay, I'll count them out for you. And then we're going to go into a breath hold. And we'll do breath hold on exhalation. So this is going to be really good, okay? So Wim Hof will be basically maximizing air movement. We're not going to worry about how long, okay? So you're going to go in, out. I'm going to count to 20. Then we're going to do exhalation breath hold for one minute. Oh, wow. As we get further along in our practice, we're going to increase that two minutes, three minutes. Free divers do this. This is an alkalotic movement. We're getting all the CO2 out. CO2 drives our breath. With the CO2 gone, we can hold our breath for a very long time, but it also cleanses us, gets our cortisol up, increased brown fat, cold water. All right. Uh, you muted yourself. You are muted. Buddy, you got muted. I don't know what happened. I lost your, lost your oh, audio. You You're back. Okay, tell me what I need to do. So I need to breathe in and I need to hold You're it. You're breathing in, breathing out quickly. We're going to do 20 cycles. We'll do it together. On exhalation on the 20th, we're going to do a hold. I'll tell you to hold and we'll do a count. Okay? Okay. All right. Let me just get my stopwatch so I don't have us hold for too long. So we're prepared for this. Clock is good. Okay. All right, here we go with the breathing. We're gonna do 20 cycles. Ready and go. One. One more. 
Exhale, hold. One minute hold. You should be feeling tingling in your hands, feet, maybe in your face. A full movement. Your body is emptied completely of CO2 right now. It has no desire to want to breathe, so you can hold it as long as you want. We're at 20 seconds. At 30, feel free to do what you need, but we're going to go for the minute. Let me know when you breathe. We're going to keep going. And this is teaching our body. It's allowing our cells to ask for that oxygen, but just to, to create that, that movement of regrowth. It's encouraging our body to, to fight. We're at 15 seconds. Yes. And at the end, when I say go, we'll do a breath hold in. Okay, and breathing in, 15 seconds. Now we're nurturing the cells. They're getting the oxygen in. You can feel them releasing. You can feel your head, your neck, into your fingertips. All that relaxation and 15 seconds and done. Let it out. Okay, so generally every morning I do three cycles of that. So since that was our first one, we're going to go through it again. We'll do another 20 count, and then we'll try for a minute and a half. I'm not going to talk during this time, so we're really just going to get into it, okay? Um, and as you do this more, as you get more into the practice, it's about discharging, so the exhalation, but it's just about moving air, okay? So here we go once again, another 20 breath cycle. Exhale, breath hold. We'll try a minute and a half, and go. Great work. Again, filling that demon diaphragm because it's moving. Full movement of air. Heating up the body. Maybe a little lightheaded. Five more. Really get it. Deeper. Full exhalation. Two more. Big exhale. And breath hold. The tingling in the fingertips to the back of the spine. If we were laying down, I'd ask you to relax your muscles, relax your legs. Let go of everything, relax your head. Allow the blood flow to continue moving that feeling from the center of your body out to your fingertips. Enjoying it. Pushing yourself only as far as you need. This is just for you, for your body. Your body's in alkalosis right now, it is enjoying this. We're at 37 seconds. You're already 100% improvement from the first round. We're very happy. I'll tell you in around a minute and you can continue. If you want a little extra, we'll go for the extra 30. We're at a full minute right now. Holding as you need. All I can do. That's it. We're at one minute. Excellent. Inhale. And 15. And we're feeling our cells come back. They're thanking us for that breath. Full exchange of oxygen. Five more seconds. And good. And exhale. All right. Normally we do one more cycle, but I think we had a good start. Um, there's a Wim Hof app. I recommend everyone. There's a YouTube that they can follow just to get that feeling. He's a great coach as we go through it. But I think most importantly, I prefer Wim Hof in the morning. A wonderful thing to do is if you do nap in the afternoon, getting up with a Wim Hof after the nap. Or if you want to pass on the nap, jumping into the Wim Hof. It changes everything. It sparks us into our day. One cup of coffee, some Wim Hof, some light, and changes everything. Pass on the coffee if you feel like you don't need it, but it'll it'll really put a big, big change into your day. Uh, I know you and I always talk about those stuff, but I wanted to just focus on Wim Hof today. Um, so ask me some questions. What did you feel as far as the parasympathetic and the sympathetic? 
Yeah, I definitely felt the tingling in my fingers. And when I held when I when I held that breath for so long, you know, you definitely start feeling kind of like an out of body experience almost. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a little more challenging for you sitting up. I would really prefer people laying down. I would not want to see someone fall down. Always away from pools of water. Once again, you know, this is not a client uh, practitioner relationship right now. We're just sharing for the for the wealth of information for those who are on our program. Um, you really want to reach out to Iron DPC if you want to learn more about this practice as well as your exercise. Uh, and really hitting on our seven pillars that we like to to focus on. Um, I always like to share with people the metric you're going to see as you start to bring Wim Hof into your life is better sleep. We struggle in the North American society right now with increasing our cortisol at the proper times. And I know, Stefan, we talk about this all the time, but by doing Wim Hof, we're going to peak our cortisol when it's supposed to be high in the early morning. Um, if you're on the program, we could get you on Wim Hof. We could then check your cortisol levels a week later, and you, you wouldn't believe the difference um, from our body getting to that fight or flight and that movement. Wow. Uh, yeah, I see that pretty often. I see a sluggish cortisol in the morning in some patients where it doesn't come up with like it should be. Right. Right. Lack of sunlight. We talk about all the time. Yeah. Lack of air movement, improper breathing, lack of exercise, uh, poor night sleep, uh, nasty cycle, uh, hard to get out of. Yeah. Wow. That was fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and just want to share on some of the parasympathetic sides. This would be more of focusing on the two second in, six second out breath before night. Um, decreased blood pressure, decreased, so slowing the cortisol down at the end of the night. Uh, you know, and, and just to share like with for, for men's health too, just something to be aware of is the, the parasympathetic, the exhalation is very important for men as we get older. Um, it can conquer erectile dysfunction for those who are struggling with that. Um, it's really something that's not focused on enough. Uh, I apologize for a lot of people. Sometimes we're focused on a society that believes a pill will answer things, but simply learning how to breathe. Uh, the rest of the world's doing it. Uh, a lot of people do it as a form of meditation. We can do it as breath work. We can add in meditation, mindfulness, lots of different aspects, but um, this will uh, absolutely change your day to day and change your sleep pattern, change your love life, make you more thankful, have you gratitude in your heart. Um, and, and, and bring the rest of the, uh, the rest of your, your mindfulness and your daily pattern in. Uh, and, and definitely being part of Iron DPC and having that overall uh, evaluation is most important before stepping into anything. That's cool. We'll definitely start incorporating more Wim Hof. I haven't really been, I haven't understand it. That's more been your thing, the Wim Hof. So yeah. maybe, maybe we can get you when you're back here get you to run some Wim Hof sessions for patients on the beach. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be great. Uh, I always recommend people to type in Wim Hof white papers. Uh, he's done a lot of studies where he actually did something I recommend no one do, but he did a study where he injected E. coli into his bloodstream. Not one person became infected with the, you know, uh, E. coli, which is a frequent, uh, we know, septic type bacteria, which leads people to significant issues. It's common in our bodies, oral fecal cavity. Um, but he was able to, through Wim Hof, uh, breathing techniques to get his immunity up, which then gave zero percent of the people in that study ever coming down with a virus or a septic experience or even an infection uh, and it's really through increasing your heart rate increasing your body temperature and burning burning it so uh, this will get rid of cold sores on the side of the mouth this will get rid of little flare-ups this will get rid of seasonal allergies i can't keep talking anymore because there's so much it'll do so wow. this is such a practice that needs to be brought in and there's numerous scientific studies on this Getting back to our simple health of our body, mind, spirit, changing everything. That's, uh, that's how we practice, Stefan. Uh, we're, we're very blessed to be with each other and uh, can't wait to sit down together when we're back home and, and just keep growing. Cool. All right. We'll talk again soon. All right. Be safe. We'll talk. Let's see here.